Hi guys, Mark Garreau here. Uh, I was asked a question the other day on how one should do Supta Vajrasana um, if they have a home practice um, or a self practice. So um, to show you real quick what Supta Vajrasana is and what the issue is with it, um, basically we're in full lotus posture, we bind behind the back, and then from here we have to arch the back and bring the crown of the head to the ground, doing like a sit up kind of thing. So what happens with most people is they lean back and the lap lifts up and then they start to fall, okay? We can't keep the legs down without someone sitting on them. All right, so let me show you what I've done here in my shala that I think works really well. All right, so my altar here, um, I took a really thick piece of plywood, okay? And then I took some black pipe. So this is the same black pipe um, that's used to run like gas lines for your furnace or for your hot water heater. Um, and you can buy the black pipe um, at Lowe's or Home Depot or any hardware store really. So what I did here, this is a half inch floor flange. All right, um, a length of pipe with threads on either side is called a nipple. That's the official plumbing term, okay? So this is a four and a half inch nipple that I used. Um, and then I have a half inch T. I took a bar across to slide my legs under, had the same thing going on on the other side, all right? And then this length doesn't matter as much, okay? This just depends on how high you want um, your altar to be. And then there's another floor flange there attaching it. So this is all screwed into the ground and to the, to the um, plywood, and then the plywood is attached to the wall back here as well with screws. So it's very solid, very stable. Um, now, getting back to this. So this one does make a big difference. Um, the length is quite important, okay? So if I take my lotus, okay, and slide my lotus underneath. All right, you can see my legs just fit under that bar, and now I could sit back and that's gonna hold me down, okay? If you can see that. So I used a four and a half inch nipple on the bottom there. All right, so that elevates this to the right height to my, to my thighs slide under there nicely. Um, I would say if you're going to try to build one of these, you know, start with a four and a half and see if that works. Um, it works for me. It works for, um, I think, most people. Um, but we all are proportioned a little differently. Um, so if you have really big thighs, you might want maybe a five inch nipple to give you a little more clearance to fit your legs under. Um, or if you're, you know, super thin legs, you might want a four inch instead of a four and a half. So you have to play with that a little bit. But this was really easy to build. Um, and it took me maybe a half hour, you know, not long at all, maybe less. Um, going out and buying the parts is probably the most time consuming part of it. Um, and then the cost is really cheap as well. Um, black pipe is not very expensive. Um, so maybe all those parts was, you know, 20 bucks. Um, so I hope that helps you out and maybe you can build your own altar. Um, and then, uh, you can start doing super rajasana without falling on your head. All right. Have a great day.